Hello everyone, Forex here with another tutorial. In this video we are gonna look at how damage is calculated in the game. I'm going to talk about commands damage, set damage and their use in several simple situations. This might be a bit too easy for some of you, but others might find this information quite useful, so let's start right now. Alright, so the commands themselves are really easy to use. Use set damage to set the damage of any object to a certain value or use the damage command to get the exact damage value. The value is somewhere between 0 and 1, where 0 means totally healthy and 1 means dead. So that's pretty easy to understand and there's nothing else for me to say about this, but I'd like to use these two commands in different situations to show you how you can use these and several more simple commands to achieve whatever you want. So we can use the damage command as a substitution for an exact number. So in this case we'll add 0.1 damage to the player no matter what his current damage is. The command will be like this player set damage brackets damage player plus 0.1 brackets. The game then loads the command and goes from the start player set his damage to this number his current damage plus 0.1. Ok, another example, let's damage and heal the player based on what he will need. So we'll use a script and let me quickly explain what we want to do while I'm writing the script itself. So while the player is alive, we'll slowly keep adding some damage, but every time he is too injured, he will be magically healed so that he doesn't die from the process. Really simple and not very usable, but good for practicing and playing in the editor. I repeat, these commands are really simple, but I felt like I should mention them because they are really important and shouldn't be forgotten, so the tutorial has to offer at least something. Anyway, another example. Let's inform the player about his injury. So we'll make a trigger activation radio bravo, repeatedly on activation we'll have hint format brackets quotes your current damage is person 1 space person sign quotes coma floor, damage, player, times 100, brackets. There are several words we haven't used before, so we'll let the hint command to display some text on the screen. Later we use the person1 to mark the place where we will use some variables to be displayed, and after the comma we use the damage command to get the player's damage. Multiply it by 100, because we'll show the percentage, and then we'll round it down so that it doesn't show any unnecessary digits. So yeah, this is a bit more elaborate, but still nothing groundbreaking and the main command here is still the damage command. The others just polished things for us, but we could just use hint format brackets quotes your damage is person one quotes comma damage player brackets. It would work as well, it would just show us the raw damage number zero comma some numbers. Another use of these commands, a requested one, how to destroy an area of an island, a village or a city for example. For this we will use the set damage command, but we will mark all objects in an area and then damage them all at once. Let's make a logic unit in the middle of a city and into its init box write the following. Things equal to nearest objects brackets this comma empty brackets comma 50 close brackets, semicolon, another pair of brackets, x set damage 1 for each things. What does it do? It takes all objects in the 50 meter radius, creates an array called things that contains all of these objects and then destroys them all using the set damage command. You can of course change the 1 to a lower number if you want only to damage the objects around and you can change the 50 to any other number to increase or decrease the radius. Note that this affects all objects in the area that can be damaged or destroyed, including soldiers and vehicles, but not including rocks, small bushes, grass and other indestructible objects on the map. When we are talking about damage, I should also mention commands allow damage that can be used to grant immortality to a unit, this allow damage false or true, I should also mention the command alive that can check if the unit is alive or not, which can be useful in many situations where you are for example waiting for a unit to come to a certain location, 
Well, you should also be checking if the unit is alive and able to reach any destination at all. There are also event handlers, hit, killed, damaged, handle damage, MP hit, MP killed, but I don't want to talk about event handlers right now, it's a totally different thing and we'll hopefully get to them in the future, but for now, I want to avoid them and explain the simple commands first. You can of course find all of the used commands and all the parts of the code in the video description, there's a link to a pastebin page where I upload all that stuff, make sure to check that as well. Ok, so there you have it. I hope I showed you how much fun one can have with only a few commands, really the damage and set damage commands are super important, at least for me, I use them pretty frequently in my examples, along with the set post command that already has a tutorial. So I think that's it for this video, I hope to see you all in the next one, comment, like and share and have a great day.